Well, greetings, YouTube model people. How's it going? Okay, coming at you here with a channel update. Uh, yes, it's been a bit of time. We've been pretty busy outside of the hobby uh, with work stuff as we typically are this time of year. Uh, we have very big deadlines and stuff in the month of January. Um, some have passed, some are coming. So it's just a, a tough, busy time. So trying to get time at the bench and doing videos and stuff like that, it, it's a bit of a challenge. But anyway, so it is Tuesday night, January 18th, 2022. And what we have been doing um, when we can is building. And again, if I have a choice between building and making videos, I hate to tell you guys, it's going to be uh, it's going to be building. So we've been doing some building, working primarily on my uh, GT uh, race uh, group build hosted by Keith over at Keith Models and RC. Again, this was 2021 build that he hosted. I am still working on mine. Uh, it's coming along very well. We're getting into the final stages of that. If we don't have any major setbacks time-wise, I think we will get a final on that uh, by this Saturday. If not, it'll be by Monday night. So yeah, so keep an eye out for that one. Um, that's mainly what we've been working on. We've been working on a couple other things. Um, but, um, that's the main thing we've been working on. Also, uh, just as a heads up, I probably should have mentioned this already. Uh, at the end of this month, January, on Saturday, um, January 29th, starting at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time or Eastern Daylight. Uh, yeah, Eastern Standard Time, I think it still is. January 29th, Saturday, running through till Sunday, January 30th, 12 noon. It's the 16th annual 24-hour model build on Facebook. Now, I don't have any um, hand in that other than just as a participant. Um, I don't run it. I don't coordinate it. I don't do anything. But it is a great fun time. Uh, and again, 16, guys. 16th annual. This is the 16th year this group of uh, folks have been hosting this. And again, it, kind of, it coincides directly with the 24-hour uh, races that are happening in Daytona, Florida. And it's great. It's a, I mean, the motto of the thing is just to have a good time, but also is to feel like it, uh, feel like it was when to build like a 12 year old again, right? Cause you would just stay up till whenever and just, you know, finish a kit within a, um, within a day or two, maybe right? kind of thing. Just put it all together. Maybe you didn't even hardly paint it, whatever it is that you did. Uh, it's just a fun, good time right now. I know for sure there are over a hundred builders that are participating. There'll be probably far more than that when it all said and done. Uh, so again, if you'd go on Facebook and search this out, 16th annual 24 hour model build, you will see it come up the group it just ask to join the group and you can participate. So it's a fun time. And this, if I'm not mistaken, is my seventh year in a row doing it. I have a pretty good record finishing 24 hours. I, uh, only missed it twice. I missed the first year, uh, cause I used enamel paints, F figured out right away. That was never going to be a good idea. So we went on a good tear for five years, and then last year we slipped again. Didn't quite make it, but we tried to do a very um, fiddly kit and one that had quite a few parts in it compared to what I've used to do uh, for the builds, which was the Daisy Dukes uh, Jeep um, kit. So anyway, so that's that. Uh, also, I have bought some things, um, you know, a couple things here and there. Definitely some kits. Um, some little mini Reaper figures and such, but I'm not going to do a stash update right now. I will do that in a separate video. I'll wait till a couple more things come in and we'll kind of update you all in one shot on that one. So just hang on there a little bit. Um, also upcoming group builds that I'm participating in. We have the, uh, small scale, uh, group build, the first annual small scale group build happening in the month of February, uh, this year hosted by Brian at BG models. Uh, workshop and also Sean over at Scale Model Car Guy channel. I'm sure most of you guys uh, are familiar with these two folks. Um, so yeah, anything small scale, definitely go check out Brian and Sean's videos for ideas, suggestions, and the very few rules that apply. So in the next few days, I think I've picked out the kit I want to do. Um, and uh, basically, yeah, I'll be posting up a video very soon for that. Uh, another group build that was announced uh, very recently, too, was Cliff, uh, the GI Mechanics Scale Modeling Channel. Again, most of you probably know Cliff. Um, he is doing another 
2022 um, motorcycle group build again this year. And again, definitely go check out Cliff's channel for all the particulars. That's one of the kits I'm waiting to come in. Um, that's probably going to hold us up the most. I think it's supposed to come in early February, uh, be shipped to me, but um, bought it off eBay. So the motorcycle I'm going to build is, is, I just bought it. It's something I've seen before. I thought it was just a cool, cool motorcycle. And that's the one I would like to do for this build. Uh, although that build started, I think, January 1st of this year. And it runs all the way through till I'm pretty sure, October. Um, so, yeah, that's definitely one I'm uh, looking forward to doing. And one other one that I'm looking forward to doing is uh, for my buddy Kenny over at... Uh, Hobby Link International, um, a great forum, a great site. Um, Kenny's a great guy, and uh, they have a lot of group builds going on. You'll see a lot of people are doing their helicopter group build right now, but one of the group builds is a Star Trek group build. Now, that's interesting for me because I've never built a Star Trek model in my entire life. I'm not really a big Star Trek fan. Uh, ooh, gasped, right? <gasps> I'm a huge diehard uh, Star Wars fan, but Star Trek, I never never really got into it too much. Um, so um, I'm going to use this as an opportunity, uh, this group build, as to build <laughs> basically the uh, original Enterprise from the TV show. So anyway, folks, that's about it. That's enough jibber-jabber. Oh, yeah, by the way, I happen to have this sitting here. I didn't even realize. This is what I'll be building for the 24-hour build. I'm going to do this, uh, I think it's a 1979 or... Um, probably 79, maybe 78, uh, Z28 Camaro. And I'm going to build it just like the box art here. Uh, the only area of this kit that's a little bit concerning is the decals. Um, and with that, I want to ask you guys, what clear would you use to spray over what would maybe be fragile decals? Um, again, I'm in love with Tamiya lacquer paints uh, and all that stuff, but I understand that the Tamiya line of um, paint and uh, clear is kind of aggressive kind of strong so i don't know if there's something that's a little bit less aggressive uh, for a clear that would work well uh, with the tamiya lacquers because i'm going to spray paint this car gloss black it's going to be tamiya um, so again if you can uh, suggest a lacquer paint uh, or something that's friendly with lacquer tamiya that can go over this for a clear uh, that would be awesome so that's it, folks. Uh, again, uh, sorry for all the jibber-jabber, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to get a video up here, let you know I'm still here kicking, doing my thing. Uh, we had a great hangout. Uh, I wasn't on the camera uh, on the video. I was just uh, commenting along on the, this past Saturday night. Uh, it was the 15th of January. Uh, a bunch of guys hanging out uh, on uh, YouTube Hangout, and it was a lot of fun and definitely, uh, you know, good times. And then I hung out a little bit until I lost my power uh, on the um, Monday uh, mayhem or Monday, you know, mashup uh, sort of thing uh, that Cliff hosts every Monday night. So that was a lot of fun as well. So that's it, folks. We'll be talking to you later. All right. Cheers.